Tonight on Big Brother, Gemma and Johnny's loose talk in the bathroom. So I'm saying meet Blake, Chrissy, Sarah Ray. Is Gemma at it again? I don't want to complain, but I just heard people betting chocolate over nominations next week. And Anita takes a parting shot at Blair. And then maybe you'll start going out with girls that aren't stupid. I think I'm getting a bit nuts. <laughs> no, I think I'm all right. I think I'm just being uh, a bit silly, just trying to pass some time, really. Not much else going on. Not much else going on. With only three Ooh. hours until the eviction announcement, Johnny is craving oh, exercise and to talk to someone other than a housemate. It'll be interesting to see who goes tonight. Uh, I think it goes without saying. I'm particularly fond of Gemma, so if Gemma leaves, I'll be a little bit bummed out. But that's not to say if Chrissy or Anita don't go, there'll be, a, I don't know, an empty space to fill. But Gemma sort of is, you know, my bed buddy. She's in the bed next to mine, so we kind of chat at night sometimes. It's been like that for eight weeks now. So, yeah, I'm, hey? Ah, oh, okay, thank you. So yeah, I'll uh, miss her. I have to get back to you. Anita goes through the Sunday afternoon ritual of packing her things. Gemma's also preparing for the worst, but as always, trying to look her best. Finally, the moment of truth. It's time to go, Anita. In a go. She was dying for it. I'm happy she's gone. Like, yeah, she's really, really wanted to go. Miracles happen every day. <laughs> One more week. Might be my last. Gonna make the most of it. <laughs> it's too full on. No, it's just too much. I can't believe it. Oh, well God. done. You survived another one. They love your guts. No, I think. Anita being so adamant about leaving and talking about voluntary exits probably helped as well. Oh, I'm so glad she's gone. She really badly wanted to go. She was going to walk out. She didn't go. Did she, she show that to you? She said, either way, it's going to be a last night tonight. Did she show that? Yeah. She wasn't going to say, either way, it's going to be my last night tonight. Did she hate us that much? She just didn't want to be here at all. Wasn't it what oh. she expected? In the last few days, she just couldn't handle it. She didn't say why. She just wanted to go. That's the only thing about wanting to go. I think you kick yourself. Yeah, but I, I, but I last not this week, but a week, a week or two ago, I'd want to go because mm. you really, I'm being really like in my Yeah, mind. but you wouldn't have said this is my last night, no matter what. I oh, know why. Exactly. But once you... I'm not, once I'm sitting in that chair, I'm going okay if I go, I'll go. But when I don't go, I'm so happy for tears that I'm still here. Mm. I never want to go. I don't want to go to the end now. Mm. Like not, you know, I, mean, I want to make it to the end. Mm. I don't want to. So it's every eight weeks and then you're wishing you'd go, no way. It's only, what, three more evictions now, huh? Next week will be weird because it's either only going to be two girls or two boys. That's going to be bizarre. Mm. Strange from now on in, I reckon. Yeah. We're really weird. There's no reprise at this stage of the game, darling. Yeah, me and Christina are not nominated anymore. 
<sighs> Oops, so I don't talk like that, are we? That was all me. <laughs> I reckon we all go to town on Johnny and Ben next week. Oh, just on the leash. Thanks. <laughs> I have a new rule. New house rule. No more talk about nominations or evictions whatsoever. Why? Because it sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's stupid. Let's just enjoy what's in the house and just get on with it. Not talk about it. And don't it think all. about I'm it because it's be so out of our case hands. The chooks throw. And and it just, just has to be done now. Grassy. The more you talk about it, the more anxiety you create. Yeah. So just let That's it true. go and just enjoy what's here. Good point. Yeah, it's not fun right for the fourth time. Coming up on Big Especially Brother, Anita's tearful farewell. You are my angel and you looked after me from day one. The remaining housemates gather on the sofas to hear a parting message from Anita, recorded the day before her eviction. OK, well, if I'm not sitting with you guys watching this message now, it means that I'm with my mum and my family, which is where I've wanted to be the whole time that I've been in here. I'd like to give a special message to the girls in the house. And, and I've told you a million times, I don't have many girlfriends in the outside world. I just don't. It's mostly just been my family and my guy friends. And it's really made me realise how important it is to have like those girlfriend things around you and you guys have just been incredible for me incredible and especially I have a special message for Sarah Marie you are my angel and you looked after me from day one and don't let anyone 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 try to change you or tell you that what you do is like this or what you do is like this you are an incredible person and like, I'll always say to you, just shake on it. Chrissy, I just want to tell you that you are an incredible person and you are very, 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 very funny. So don't let anyone tell you that you're shy and you don't speak and all that kind of stuff because you really are a special person. And I enjoyed every single morning waking up and seeing your face and having our little coffee together and it made me look forward to getting up in the morning because I probably would have stayed in bed if it wasn't you I was waking up to. Um, Jem, love to go out with you sometimes and borrow your clothes. I guess I'll try, I'll try to get into your way of fashion. Um, Johnny, um, you shouldn't agree to disagree. You can sometimes agree to not disagree and Maybe you should, maybe you should think about that a little bit. Ben, I will miss your humour and I will not miss your humour. <laughs> it is funny once and it is funny twice, but the third time I, you could drive me mad. But um, you were fun because sometimes when I wanted to have a muck around and blah, 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 we could muck around together and we also could have some of that comedy connection kind of thing. Blair, I'm sorry if I interrupted your time in the Big Brother house. I felt that I was treading on your feet. But although you made my first couple of days here quite hard, I learned to cope with it. And maybe you should just be a bit more accommodating to, to others around you. And maybe other people have something to say that also is also interesting. I think you just need to remember that we're all a group in here or whatever. There are girls in here and they do like to be treated like girls. We don't always have to be part of the boys. So I think that might be a good thing to remember and then maybe you'll start going out with girls that aren't stupid. I'd like you guys to remember me by the boring nights that you had nothing to do. I was the saviour. <laughs> Let's drink. Cheers. Okay, Cheers yeah. to us. Yeah. Okay, Dal? Yep. Cheers to us, guys. Cheers, Six everyone. left. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers. 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 Here's the blue and Ben not going, it was stupid. <laughs> 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 it wasn't him, it wasn't a mate. <laughs> oh, sorry. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs>
Blair is good. Blair, Blair, you're ruined. You're fuming. If I can put a hole in someone's head, it'd be hers. <laughs> Took a video for her to tell. Oh, lights are out. Tell us exactly. all what she really thought of us. Let it out, Blair, come on. <laughs> Let it out. I'm laughing at Blair. Like, I'm just, I can feel, I can feel the temperature <laughs> rising. <laughs> His leg muscles go like that. So, funny, when she was saying, like, ceremony, I started tears in my eyes. It's all right. And then she started talking about the boys, and he's like, Mm. <laughs> oh dear. Next on Big Brother, has Christina stumbled onto something? Last week, Johnny kissed Sarah Marie after the evictions. This week, Blair decides he'll have a go. No, we have to practice. They decide to practice out of sight of the cameras. Come on. I can't. I don't think I can go Ready? Come under and look. Ready? I don't think I can. I don't. <laughs> Everything, no, everything's gonna be all right. I don't think I can do this. Let's <laughs> do it. I'm <laughs> kissing. Oh God, sick. This is making me okay. sick. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. wait. So what? You like you? Like... <laughs> ben, don't rip it off. I'm not. Um... Okay. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm getting embarrassed. <laughs> don't be embarrassed. Oh my God, oh, I feel my strange. God. <laughs> Once in a lifetime opportunity okay. just to have fun. Okay, Albert Person, Albert Person, Albert Person, Albert Person. You ready? Okay, go, go, go. You ready? Are they snogging under the tuna, I've got darling? No idea. Yeah, kind of not bad. I don't like yours, though. <laughs> I don't okay. like your style. Will you show us now? Yeah, I don't like your style. No, okay, I suck in tongue because I show tongue. tongue. Oh, that's fine. Okay, practice. I didn't no, like yours. You practiced already. Okay, well, I didn't like yours. Did okay. you like mine? No, not really. Well, come on. He's, he's just sort of what I like, but not all that I like. Yeah, I mean, now, wait, that question. I know you don't want that to see fine. Are Gemma and I are allowed to get under and watch? Oh, listen, why yeah. not? Yeah, come on. Why not? <laughs> This is so much fun. <laughs> this is cool. Hey, do you want to do a four-way kiss? No. I'm not. I'm not. Three, Gemma. Three. Three. No, 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 three. No, 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 I've got a boyfriend. I can't hey, 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 you've got to get right under. under. Gemma, show the camera show. No, you're not. Until okay. Tuesday. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> because I reckon I'm going shopping again this week. We're out of doubt. Despite Christina's suggestion that there be no more nomination talk, the subject comes up again in the bathroom. <laughs> oh. I know I'm going shopping this week because... Can I make a little wager? Mm -hmm. I reckon. Mm -hmm. This week, mm -hmm. me, Sarah, me and Chrissy. Ooh. Possibly, possibly, me, Sarah, Marie and Blair, or me, Chrissy and Blair. Mm. I reckon. I don't think you and Benny will go again. Whoa. No. Wow. Make a little, we'll make a little wager. I reckon. Me, Chrissy, Sarah Marie. You, Chrissy, Sarah Marie. Mm -hmm. Why? I should. Who the you, you? I will. All right, we got a wager then. Well, all right then. A bet. You, Chrissy, Sarah Marie. Mm hmm. And mm. mine, either. And what did I say to me? Chrissy, Sarah Marie. You said you, Chrissy, Sarah Marie. Yep. And I said either me, Chrissy, Sarah Marie, or me, Blair. Mm hmm. And either Chrissy or Sarah Marie. Uh -huh. So I'm saying me, Blair, Chrissy, Sarah Marie. And you're saying me. you, Chrissy, Sarah Marie. All right. Good. Yeah. Okay, and if you're, if I win. <coughs> if it's, if it's <coughs> anyone but me, Chrissy, Blair, or Sarah Marie. Yeah. If it's anyone but, yeah. then you owe me three pieces of chocolate. I was going to say, give you a massage. All right, massage. All right. Massage. And then, or otherwise, give it back to me. And if it's you, Chrissy, or Sarah Marie. Yeah. Then what am I giving you? You're giving me a, a massage back. A massage back. All right. Awesome. Done. That's a bit. 
After the conversation in the bathroom, Christina is still worrying about what she heard. After the break, Christina confronts Johnny. And it gets so close to being not right. I was going to sleep on this and I don't want to complain, but I just heard people betting chocolate over nominations next week. And they were mentioning specific names and I might have misunderstood the conversation and I know you've been really strict on the rules in here and that's been great but if what I heard was correct I'm a bit I don't know taken aback I might have heard the wrong thing I don't know but people were saying something like I bet Chrissy, Sarah Marie and so-and-so are going to be nominated next week. And then I heard someone else say, no, it'll be Chrissy, Sarah, Sarah Marie and someone else be nominated next week. And I was just like, I know to them it's a bit of a joke, but to me I'm just, I'm a bit fed up with being nominated and I don't know if I heard the conversation wrong, but if I heard what I thought I heard, I don't think that's right that people should be talking like that. To me it's really delicate. To them it's funny because... You know, one of them's never been nominated one one time, but for me, who's been up four times, I just don't like being spoken about like that. And I don't know what the conversation was exactly, but I just overheard the end of it. So, I don't know. I might be completely wrong. You'll need to play it back and have a look. And if I am, good. I wanted to confront them, but I thought I might have been completely misunderstanding the situation. So, I don't know. It's after midnight and Christina is struggling to sleep. She confronts Johnny about the conversation she overheard. She brings Johnny's microphone to him. Oh, that's a set. Um, oh, they're trying. They're trying. I just find if I lie in my bed and I can't sleep, it just makes it really difficult mm. to sleep. Mm. I just want to ask you, what was that bet you were making in the bathroom about something? With chocolate? Um, saying that I reckon this week's nominations will be myself, you, and Sarah Marie. Oh, OK. And, um, um, Gemma was saying, I can't remember what she was saying. Uh. But whatever, I was just being silly. Uh. It's not to say that I'm going to vote for you or not, it's just saying that, oh, no. you know, I just... I, I don't I'm sure you. I'm sure it wasn't vindictive or oh, no. anything like that. But for someone like myself, he's been up four times, and for yeah, each time, yeah, no, I thought about that after you walked in. I thought it's oh. been quite traumatic. Yeah, no, to no. overhear something like yeah, that. No, I he's understand like, that. I understand that. I hear. Are I, you right? I hear. No, <laughs> I thought about that when you walked in. And I thought, oh, that was a bit insensitive. It's not even that. It just shouldn't be said. No, you're absolutely right. Just made me go. <laughs> and after, just after you said, can we not talk about nominations? Can we not go there anymore? Okay, my deal is I'm not going to go there anymore. I've got four weeks, just... Gemma loves talking about them. I know, it does my head in. 
especially because, you know, I'm always there. So it's like I've got to listen to this all the time. All the time. And it gets so close to being not right mm. so many times. Fair enough, some people are like that. Enjoyed our little conversations over the last few days. Yeah, it's all good. I don't know if you want to talk to Gemma about this or not, but... I won't, actually, because... She's had enough yeah. times being pulled in the door and being yeah, told no. stuff that she didn't wasn't aware that she was... I won't, because I, don't, I think you just said you didn't want to make too big a deal of it. No. So I no. think that you've spoken to me about it, and I respect your wishes, I guess. Yeah. Did Johnny and Gemma go too far? Be watching tomorrow for Big Brother's Verdict. Hi, Timbo here, and I cannot tear myself away. You want to catch up with more news and gossip from inside the Big Brother house? I do. So catch the regular updates on Triple M or read about them in the Herald Sun.